We've gone back in time today with some new game franchises being revealed that haven't really had games in the spotlight recently. We're talking about Fallout 76, some Sega racing game, as well as a Pokemon remake of Pokemon Yellow. You guys are really going to be interested in these stories if you're interested in those franchises, which is why I'm wearing this hat from back in the day. I mean, it's an awesome hat. Everyone loves Space Jam, but this bad boy corroborates with what we're talking about today. So tune in to today's episode of News You Missed if that all sounds interesting to you. Before we jump into that, I have to tell you, there is a company that offered me and my subscribers a great discount on a really, really nice standing desk. This might not be your thing, so I'm going to leave it towards the end of the video, and you can check into that where I'll give you a short rundown of what this desk is about, where you can save 50% on a standing desk. So if that's something you've been looking for as a creator, an artist, or just someone who wants to stand instead of sit all the time, make sure to tune into that. Now with that out of the way, we should jump right into the news, and I want to start off with Fallout 76 being officially teased. Yeah, officially teased. Yeah, alright, okay. It's special, guys, but it really is. So this game looks like it's going to be based around a vault instead of being based around the Fallout universe. Maybe, perhaps, you will be stuck in a vault, and you will be confined to the vault. Perhaps you'll be building the vault up itself. You can see it in the trailer where they're sticking mainly to the vault itself. But again, it is a teaser trailer, so they might not be showing a ton of gameplay of the outer world. You might go out to the outer world, but then return back inside because it's alluded to in the teaser trailer that the vault is where it's at. And you are to repopulate the human race in the vault. That is your job. That's what you're supposed to do after the nukes fall, after the fallout is over with. And that's basically what this game's about. So who knows if it's going to be kind of similar to Fallout 4 or Fallout 3. We'll have to see. A lot of people are upset saying that, oh, it's just more Bethesda trash. Oh, it's just Fallout 3 again. People are going to be real upset because they're going to dumb down the gameplay and water it down. But the game's not out yet, so you never know. Hopefully it'll be something really, really good. Walmart leaks have revealed Team Sonic Racing. Yeah, you guys remember when Walmart's, uh, Man, Walmart's been leaking a lot of stuff for video games. So, there is Team Sonic Racing coming out, ladies and gentlemen. This is an official thing. Um, beforehand, there were games like Sonic All-Stars Racing, which was a really, really good game. And then there was a variation on that where you could transform your vehicle into a boat or a plane as well. And that also was a really good game, surprisingly. It's shocking that Sonic, whom can run at supersonic speeds, who is extremely quick, would race a car, but that's what's going on. At least it's not Sonic R. Yeah, nobody wants Sonic R ever again. Nonetheless, I'm very excited for this because I absolutely love the Sonic Racing games, and I'm sure people who are interested in that will uh, also want this information. So you let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in the Sonic Racing game. Oh, Pokemon Quest is a free-to-start action game for the Nintendo Switch. I already covered this. I already talked about this before. I, I hit on it a little bit. There's going to be a full video on that uh, for another time, but... All you need to know is that you can download a new Pokemon game and it's absolutely free. It's very similar to Pokemon Rumble if that's something that you're interested in or if you know about. Also, Nintendo had no choice but to build a bridge from Pokemon Go to the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon. I disagree with this fully, but uh, okay, over at Forbes. Yeah, so everyone's covering Pokemon news. Obviously, you have to spin it in a way to get you views, clicks, things like that. So... Pokemon on Switch is going to work with Pokemon Go. I talked about this in a dedicated video already, once again. But you can trade over your Pokemon from Pokemon Go to the Switch. And the Switch's version of Pokemon Yellow, that is a remake, is going to be Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And it's going to have the capture mechanics of Pokemon Go, where you're going to use the Joy-Cons to capture a Pokemon with Pokeball, as well as an accessory you can buy, which is an actual Pokeball that you can use to capture Pokemon. A little bit more immersive, kind of interesting. It's very similar to how they used to have the Pokemon Walker with Pikachu, uh, the Pikachu Walker, where you could take Pikachu with you and you could walk Pikachu. Very, very interesting stuff that they have going on with these games. Hopefully they will succeed. We'll have to see. A lot of people are kind of 
critical about the capturing element, how there's no random battles and you're just capturing the Pokemon randomly in the wild and they're not in the grass that you actually see them, but we'll see. So proper Pokemon RPG is coming to the Switch in 2019. There's literally nothing else other than that. Uh, Pokemon, the official company, tweeted that out on Twitter saying that it will be in the later second half of the year of 2019. So you guys are going to be able to see that then. So if you guys don't like the remake of Pokemon Yellow with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you guys should just wait till 2019. I think Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is just a nice addition to Pokemon Go to stave us off and hold us off until they actually release the new Pokemon game. But hey, you know, opinions, everyone's got them. Leave yours in the comments down below. Also, the uh, Lola version of Executor comes to Pokemon Go in a, in a real goofy twist. So, the funny thing about this guy is that when you catch him, you can't see his head. I mean, you could catch him in the overworld and see him in the overworld, but you can't see his head. He doesn't fit on the screen, he's too big. It's quite funny to say the least, and a lot of people are having a laugh and poking fun at it, but there you go. Another Pokemon you should probably catch if you're planning on getting Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Because once again, you can transfer them over. So make sure to catch those Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Especially when you have these rare events. Also, there's a new Nintendo 2DS that is very Legend of Zelda. This does not indicate a new video game release whatsoever. So please don't fall into that trap. But it's a very, very nice 2DS nonetheless. It is a Hyrulean Shield. Uh, it looks incredible. If I did not have a new 3DS of the Samus one that recently came out... I would definitely buy this. I promise you I would. It looks astonishing. But Nintendo's always been a fan and paid a lot of fan service to Zelda, so this really isn't a surprise to me. It does come with a link between worlds, but again, it's pre-installed so you don't actually get the physical cart. You might want to consider that before buying this. Uh, it's very similar to the original 3DS that they had, and then later on they had another 3DS come out that was Zelda themed also, and they had a Majora's Mask one. So there's been plenty of Zelda 3DS uh, themes that have been released from Nintendo. So this is a big story that I really wanted to cover. Valve removes school shooting game from Steam. Oh, wow. And see, the reason you might you might be surprised to know the reason is not because it's a school shooter game. Uh, it's actually because the rep described the individual who created this game as a, quote, troll who has a history of customer abuse, publishing copyrighted material, and user review manipulation. These are all things that will get you kicked off Steam. When they investigated this game and, and wanted to see who created it and everything behind it and things like that, because of the multiple reports, because it's a school shooter game, uh, they did find out that this was another individual who had previously had problems with Steam uh, and they've been removed before for operating uh, outside of the restrictions that Steam does apply. Now, you might be shocked to say, okay, well, the game wasn't removed because it's a school shooter game, but because he violates these rules on Steam. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to defend a school shooting game. Don't, don't be idiotic. Don't be stupid. Okay? I don't defend school shootings, and I think school shootings are, are ridiculous. It's ridiculous that somebody would create a school shooter game, period. But obviously with the controversies going around America with school shootings, with the guns, gun activists, uh, people blaming guns for shootings, of course someone would do this for attention and money and a quick cash grab. The game's a pile of fucking shit. There's no questioning that. Fuck that guy for creating this game. But, unfortunately, we do have to defend video games as an art. This is art. Is it good art? It's absolute fucking shit. And it should be shit on, and it should be pointed to, and shown as an example of what not to do. But all the same, it's art. You can either have all art being defended, or you can have no art being defended. There's a line for me where I will not accept certain art, and I just do not let it cross my mind. I don't entertain those ideas. I don't play those games. And a lot of people feel the same way. But at the end of the day, you still need to realize that if you sit here and you pick and choose which arts are okay, you are imploring censorship in some way, shape, or form. Of course, as long as you're not breaking a law in, in some way where you're seriously causing irreparable damage to people, 
your game's art. And it can be really, really crappy art, or it can be really, really good art. And I think the game sales should reflect that. So if you want to make a game based on a school shooter, you know, you might want to be a little bit cautious of what it gets you in the end, because your name's going to be out there, everyone's going to hate your guts, and your game's probably not going to sell more than what the shock value is there for. So that's all I have to say about that. I mean, the school shooting game is absolute shit. Fuck that game. So there you go. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, on to the final part. I wanted to tell you about this standing desk. Now, Rap Power, the good people over at Rap Power, send me this standing desk, and they said it's it's a very interesting 36-inch stand-up desk with 12 height levels, which is really really cool. If you're a person who doesn't like to sit all day and you get tired of it, uh, a standing desk is is a nice solution. It offers quite a lot of room. You can put it up on your desk. You can put it on a table. It's a pretty portable solution. It's a hefty desk, there's no question that it's pretty heavy, and it's built pretty sturdy, and I really, really enjoyed my time messing with it. I went ahead and demoed it, and that's what you're looking at here, a video of me just setting it up for you, showing you how easy it is to set up and uh, take back down and store, so I think you guys will find that the standing desk is pretty cool. You can uh, get this 50% off with the coupon code I have in the description below. It came pretty assembled, I had to do one small thing and it was done. So it really made me happy that I didn't have to sit there and spend all day working on it as well. If you're interested, make sure to check the description below because uh, these guys are really, really nice to me and they give me out this stuff to, sh to show to you to see if you'd like it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'll link you to the standing desk and again, you can take the coupon code. That's it for this episode of News You Missed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, you can leave me a massive thumbs down and tell me why. But as always, I'm on the road to... Uh, million subscribers and i would really appreciate if you contributed to it so please click the subscribe button and i'll see you back here in the next episode of news you missed i've been aerospromar and i'm signing out as always good gaming god bless and thank you for watching